this this whole thing got exposed uh, in, in, uh, from colonial times but what i'm trying to say is that you don't uh, attack violently like the uh, cow belt uh, uh, on the dalits uh, uh, muslims and uh, uh, women and sexuality minorities did it much more subtly and that was much more effective you know in terms of oppression of dalits i would say kerala is far more advanced than other uh, states in terms of liberation of dalits kerala is much more weaker than other states and tamil nadu and karnataka are far more better in terms of dalit identity they can say because there is a dalit movement dalit singers all that much better their identity is far better you know you can uh, you can confront uh, an enemy whom you can identify as an enemy you know it's much easier but when uh, the enemy comes as your friend then you can't deal with him that's what happened in kerala and uh, 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 this is why uh, if you look into the suicides and all that the marginalized communities uh, suicides are very high you know so uh, uh, islamophobia is very high even in the press anti dalit feeling is very high even in the press and the academic community in in kerala sexually sexually minorities have to flee from kerala you know they cannot uh, in fact when the uh, britishers introduced the victorian sexual morality in kerala uh, at that time they didn't have the victorian sexual morality uh, in my community uh, men could have as much as relationships and women could have as much as relationships nuclear family emerged uh, uh, from my grandmother and grandfather's time onwards just three generations before you know but at the same time how uh, lesbians have to commit suicide uh, three uh, lesbians have committed suicide just walking clo- uh, holding hands and uh, walking to a train because they cannot survive in kerala they come to uh, bangalore you know so uh, what are you talking about tolerance Uh, uh, with your all your academic might and intellectual might and our uh, liter- 100% literacy and uh, and uh, and uh, political consciousness what is politics if you don't uh, uh, ha- have a sensitivity of the marginalized communities marginalized identities then we must we must re- redefine uh, politics itself kerala was also victim of a uh, 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 form of uh, 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 Marxian communist uh, uh, identity, which says the working class controls the whole uh, 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 revolution. You know, Marx had written in the Communist Manifesto that uh, uh, history of all existing society is the history of class struggles. So uh, the uh, the main catalyst of change is the class, class, working class. I can tell you very clearly, there is not a single working class leader today in India. believes that there is a working class revolution which is going to take place in this country you know all our middle class uh, leaders you know and i i can tell you with very clear confidence nobody believes that working class is going to lead a revolution in this country who is leading changes dalit movement is make, making changes adivasi struggle is making changes uh progressive muslims that youth and all that making changes making changes on land water uh, forests uh, there are thousands of struggles in this country they are getting ripped apart uh, on the uh, uh, right to livelihood right to their own land like kudungulam or posco struggle uh, or plachimada struggle or chengara or uh, chaliar so many uh, str- uh, struggles which are thousands of struggles in this country today you know so now the thing is that uh, we want to call it revolution you know we better call it revolution you know and where is the re- revolution of the workers they they are they are dealing with their better wages you know so now i i can tell you honestly that uh, i talked to so many working class leaders none of them believe in their heart the working class is going to make a revolution so and not just that it is also uh, uh, that working class also getting a benefit out of this uh, development model but the bourgeoisie gets you know a share is getting for the workers also uh, so you don't want a hazardous company to be closed down that's why the working class in kerala said endosulfan should not be closed down 
That's why the workers said uh, that uh, 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 Chaliar, Birla's company should not be closed down. Uh, and I can give you several examples on this. I don't want to go in detail. But this analysis, I'm more in, uh, interested in the analysis, is that the class, you know, the caste in class issue was severe in Kerala, much more than uh, other, in, in terms of Indonesia. The caste is a product of class, you know. Uh, it is true, the origins of caste was based on work. The shoemaker became a shoemaker caste, you know, or, uh, or uh, like that in terms of the work. But after three generations, what happened? Uh, class became the product of caste, you know. Once the Brahminical world defined caste in terms of uh, class, then uh, in, th in three generations, class became product of caste. You know, that is where Marxists have uh, lost out. You know, but which means that shoemakers, uh, 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 the, uh, the person who makes chapels, his son has to make chapel. You know, the, the class became product of, uh, he cannot become a pujari. You know, there Marxists uh, lost out from the debate right from 1930s onwards. You know, it, this is the same thing with all identity issues. Prakash Karat very recently, I think around two years back, he said that identity issues, uh, uh, identity struggles are uh, 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 destroying or uh, splitting working class movements. You know, it is a class struggles, you know. If uh, Prakash Karat believes that identity issues and identity struggles are uh, splitting class struggles, then he has to explain why they have a women's movement headed by Brinda Karat. That is also an identity struggle. Women's identity is also very important as well as uh, Dalit identity or a sexuality minority identity or a Muslim identity or Adivasi identity or uh, many other identities uh, in this country today. So, five minutes. Five minutes, okay. Now, uh, 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 the point is that what I am trying to drive at is this, this notion of identity, how identity struggles are treated in Kerala is much more severe with intellectual attacks than Tamil Nadu, Andhra or uh, Karnataka. Uh, so it's much more subtler, you know. If you call uh, the the Brahminical world uh, had, I am talking about the Aryan uh, uh, lineage, that they were much more uh, uh, sophisticated than the Britishers or the Portuguese or the uh, Nazis even. They knew very well what Chomsky said: said uh, uh, manufacturing consent. If you control the mind, you control the body, you know. So, Brahmins always try to control the mind. If you control the mind, you can control the uh, rulers also, you know. So, and that controlling the mind uh, technology, Kerala's try to specialize compared to Kannada, Karnataka or uh, Tamil Nadu or Andhra. And this is a major problem. If you control the mind, you control the body. It's very difficult to fight after that. Uh, this is where uh, uh, Kerala development model comes up. The second aspect of the Kerala development model, I will take some more time, 